All right, guys, welcome back. So today we are going to be reviewing the fridge freezer that I just recently bought by Snowmaster. It's the Snowmaster Traveler series, and I'll get you the exact uh, the exact number of the model um, here in a little while. So first impressions of opening it. It's been set to uh, ambient temperature outside, which is approximately 90 degrees, some cloud cover. Um, so this has been opened. As you guys can see, I'll try and stabilize this. Get that to focus. All right, so there's nothing inside of it. It's not on yet. It's plugged in, but there's no power. This is just the Gold Zero 400 that I've had for quite a long time. And then this is the Boulder, uh, Gold Zero Boulder. I wanna say it's the 100, and it's the briefcase. Really sweet, had it for a long time. As of right now, we don't have any power that's coming in just because the battery is showing to be full. So anyways, the back to the Gold Zero. First impressions are, it's awesome. It's got super thick insulation. Um, it comes with this traveler's case for extra insulation. The test today is just kind of review it, get an idea, and then uh, see how it does in 90 degree weather. Uh, that's Fahrenheit to um, cool down some of these bottles of water. So you guys would know. So if you're off grid or uh, hurricane, something like that out on a boat, <clears throat> you've got the knowledge from my setup. So we're gonna go ahead and get that going. I just wanted to, with a, as a precursor, let you guys see that I did leave it outside for, it was in it was indoors in uh, like 70 degrees, but now it's out here in roughly 90. Uh, we got a slight breeze, so you're probably getting some of that. All right, so we're gonna go ahead. Oh, also, Snowmaster comes with this really cool um, remote. And we'll talk more about all the accessories of the fridge later on. You can review it on their website if you'd like. I might discuss a little bit later. I'm more interested in doing like a real world test. So we're gonna let this run for roughly about an hour. Hopefully we have enough sunshine. This is an older Goal Zero. It's the, um, one of the first generations and you can tell it's been through. And this thing's been all around the country. But anyways, we'll see if it'll keep the charge long enough. I've seen other reviews on this fridge and it used roughly like 40 watts or so. Um, it's on high. There's different settings that you can have it on. I'm gonna leave that on high and just let it do its thing and see how long it takes to cool those waters down to where it would be not not necessarily zero degrees celsius but we'll, we'll see what it does in an hour that's basically what i'm working for today um let me go ahead and make sure that this is focused cool so this actually has uh, a solar panel on the back of it the remote which is really cool um and uh we're gonna go ahead and get this test started so i'm gonna go ahead and turn on the 12 volt here it's got ac dc and then there's a fuse as well this will run off of 110. It also comes with a 220 quart. I don't have that here. So right now, the fridge is drawing 65 watts. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and put the waters in and the bottom of it. And as soon as I close the lid, we'll go ahead and start the timer. Seal it up. So like I said, 90 degrees, everything's sealed up. I'll go ahead and uh, set this out to charge a little bit the sunshine. Battery might be dead on it. Uh, actually, no, on switch. Okay, there it is. Yeah. It tells you the internal temperature and how many volts it's pulling. And it also has that as well. And it should be on, I believe, I believe it's on the high mode, yeah. Let me get a view. Hang on a second, guys. I'm not even editing this, we're just working through it and shooting it. So, get it off the tripod here. Okay, so, really nifty. This is super, super durable from what I can tell. Oh, man, I love it. Love it, handles, the construction of it's just, it's just bulletproof. The first time that I saw this fridge, it was just absolute love. Check the connections. So basically it's not bringing in a lot of um, power right now This is on Looks like the battery's charging. So I believe this actually comes with a battery, but like I said, I haven't had this very long I really need to read through the instruction manual before I do a review on it But uh, what can you say take it out of the box and test it right? Uh, all right, so we're gonna check it for an hour starting about now Go ahead and start that timer and Then we will go from there timer all right, 
So we'll come back and test it. So it is kind of hot out. I don't think you're supposed to leave those in direct sunlight. I may move that down and we'll go from there. So we'll check back in in about one hour. All right, we're about there. Paused, it's probably about within a minute or two. But for climactic effects, you guys get to see it hit an hour. So 10 seconds and then we'll check it. Four, three, two, one. Cool. All right. So right now, the goal zero is drawing 25 on this side, zero on the fridge. The remote's probably fully charged by now. Okay, so the remote showing, make sure this is in focus. Cool, this thing does a good job. Okay, 18 degrees Celsius, and it's drawing 15.5 volts. Um, so we have pretty good sunlight, so the goal zero is definitely doing its job. The boulder. So it's definitely drawing free energy. We're going to take a look at the fridge. Now mind you, this is 90 degrees, guys, and it was acclimated to that. So looks like the internal battery. Also, this is on high. So I'm just gonna do it to the touch. I'm not gonna actually test the internal temperature of the battery because nobody really does that. It's like, oh, my beer's not uh, not cold. So maybe the cool scientists on on uh, on YouTube, but that's not me. That's just not realistic. I'm a lot more realistic. So warm, hot to the touch. It's hot. Alright. Let's go ahead and make sure that this is zoomed in. Get y'all a nice uh nice picture here. I know it's choppy, but that's why you go to the movies and uh you watch YouTube for my footage, I guess. It's cool on the inside. It's showing 17 degrees. So the water was left outside for the same amount of time that this was, and it was hot. So it's cooled it down, but you're not seeing any moisture, you're not seeing anything fogging, so even the Snowmaster in 90 degrees needs a little bit of help. Now, I'm gonna leave this out, because we should have, uh, I've got a few other things that I have to do. I know I opened it, exposed it again, but I mean, that's somewhat realistic. You want a beer, water, food, you're gonna make a meal, you're gonna open that thing. So I'm gonna leave it out, and then I'll start a timer again for another two hours, and then we'll test it at that. So at one hour, it was at 18 degrees Celsius, is what this is showing, 18 degrees. I guess that's about what it feels like the bottle is on the deepest portion of it, of the fridge freezer. So we'll just see how it does in the outdoor elements over two hours. Uh, so we'll just go from there, because it is, it's hot, guys. It's hot. Put it all back, seal it back up. We'll check it again here in a bit. That's in direct sunlight, uh, but cars get hot too. And I'm just curious what it would be like. So we're gonna go from there. I'm gonna turn this off. I think it charges when it's off. We'll see. And that's that. I'm gonna get that out of the direct sunlight. I put it down below the boulder case just because I don't think it's supposed to be exposed to this much heat. Uh, or maybe that's the lithium, so either way. And we'll check it in two hours. So we'll go ahead and start the timer. All right, stop that. Reset it, starting for two hours. Okay, the ambient temperature outside is approximately 
93 degrees. Cloud cover right now, so it's not horrible harsh light. There's six watts being pulled, uh, brought in from the solar panels. And just touching the outside of this, because it's been in sunlight for, what, three hours now? So the controller is showing 18 degrees Celsius at 93 degrees. Uh, this is hot. It actually is kind of stinging a little bit to hold. So checking this ambient temperature. I'm sorry, checking the top of this. It's metal, hot. Like, you could probably cook an egg on it hot. So I can't, I can't even keep my hand on this for longer than a second or so. It's hot. So the internal down here is reading, it's about 18 degrees. Uh, 18 degrees Celsius. This battery is fully charged on the inside. So, I mean, it hasn't drawn any power at all from the Gold Zero uh, Yeti 400. So, um, I mean, obviously, cars get hot, and that was kind of the idea of doing this, this experiment, was to see it. It's not loaded down with a bunch of other stuff. My recommendation is, if you're gonna be using a fridge freezer in your vehicle, is that overnight, make sure you take like some bottles of water, um, not carbonated stuff, and freeze them. Could it get it down below zero degrees Celsius Fahrenheit. 32 degrees Fahrenheit and freeze it overnight so that whenever you do put your products in it, whether it's uh, vegetables or whether it's other frozen products, drinks, whatever else, it'll help it stay cold. The idea is to keep it in shade if you can. I'll do another test to where I run the same thing. I'll run it all off grid. Uh, the only thing that's plugged in is that camera just because I was doing some time lapse, uh, time, uh, time lapse photography while we were waiting. So you can look forward to that video too. I'll, uh, I'll tag it under here. Anyways, make sure you keep it in the shade. Make sure your products are cold if you can. I just wanted to see what it was like going from the ambient temperature outside, which is approximately 90 degrees earlier when we started this. It's the heat of the day. And I um, wanted to see just how well this fridge holds up to it. Uh, it's metal, metal conducts heat. So it gives you an idea of it. We'll test the water. Uh, get you see exactly how cool the water is real quick. I mean, the water's cold. You can see how it's fogging up. Auto focus. Make sure you guys can see this. Um, yeah, it's fog. I mean, it's fog. it's cold. So you guys can do the conversion. I want to say that's roughly what I've what I've been able to tell since we started. It's about 30 degrees cooler ish than uh, the the um, ambient temperature outside. Also, it's metal, so that's got to be over 100 degrees, maybe even more. Um, so overall, I'm pretty impressed. It was able to get 30 degrees cooler. So if you had a salad or something and, and your products, it's gonna keep it fresh. Uh, as for actually getting these down to be able to freeze it, doesn't seem like it's able to do it. And that was with it on high. So it doesn't draw that much powder. I'd still recommend it. Uh, it's a more expensive uh, cooler, but overall, I don't think that my uh, Intel B or the ARB would actually be able to do it, but I don't have those here to test it. You guys will have to either look up other videos or try that same test. If you do, make sure you leave it in the comments and a link so that I can look at it too. Hope this has been helpful. Make sure you hit that subscribe button if you like this content. And um, 